what kind of skill are you trying to show off when you show to people your animation on your demo reel everybody this is alessandro welcome back to my channel and so for the last few months really when i look at demo reel you know just for inspiration or maybe i, I need to look for new animator and stuff like that many times it happens that i look at their shot and and i can't stop thinking about okay this is rather boring why did they even choose uh, to animate something like this you no know, it doesn't show anything in terms of body mechanics the acting is not very interesting you know whatever reason right and i just feel like you know someone maybe spent weeks or months to animate something like this and it's not even that interesting and this is exactly what i want to challenge you today with this video okay so please guys think about this when you're doing your animation six eight seconds you have a short amount of time to show the best skill that represent you okay and i'm gonna help you to sell yourself to someone else right so obviously you should be very careful on what you're putting on the screen during those six eight seconds especially because today people attention spam even recruiter and animator is very quick they can see immediately if you have skills or not so it doesn't matter if you've done something very long not interesting people are gonna skip it and i can give you a very concrete example i remember even on some of my students you know we start with body mechanic and i tell them hey give me a bunch of reference or do your own reference with your own idea and show to me what 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 you would like to do right and many times guys i can guarantee you they do something like a reference where there is a character running for three four seconds doing a jump a front flip and then continue to run for another few seconds and i'm like don't you see that 80 percent of this reference is character running and then a simple jump this is quite boring there, there is nothing really interesting or maybe another person running and do a front flip one two three four times exactly the same gesture and it's like uh, you know don't you see that it's kind of repeating the same gesture over and over like you're, you're re repeating the same skill four times it's gonna be boring to watch i'm already bored watching it once uh, imagine for you that you have to animate over and over the the same gesture so try to be smart about it okay you have six seven seconds think about what are the things that you want to show off you want to show off weight balance change of direction whatever, whatever you guys want whatever you fancy and think about a choreography that they can show this definitely you can do have a character running for like a second and a second and a half then doing a big jump maybe from the jump a very acrobatic and heavy landing with your character maybe kind of hop for a little bit to recover then maybe switch direction jumping grab a pole swinging around then maybe jump again slide on a slope something really style and dynamic where you can push your poses and stuff like that and that can show like that you have a variety of skill that you can show off like weight dynamic change of direction as i talked before right uh, and also it can show that you're able to link all those different animation uh, without any cut and any every without anything right just purely doing keyframe and i can tell you it's a big challenge definitely to do something like that and if you manage to do that you're gonna be quite successful right rather than uh, uh, then do something that is not very interesting and is not very appealing uh, to watch okay so i really want to challenge you when you're thinking about a shot analyze your reference and say okay what is this character doing it's walking running it's climbing okay now it's jumping climbing again uh okay jumping climbing again uh, okay it's repeating too many times the same things uh is it dynamic is it interesting or maybe the action is so slow there is no time there is no rhythm into the animation it's very slow to watch right you know it can happen in that case maybe you want to study and think about it something else right uh, and then you can say okay alessandro i get your point really great advice but you know what alessandro i'm doing a pantomime shot right so it's more about acting so definitely i cannot have for no reason the character start jumping around and, and flipping or whatever uh just for the sake of two show off body mechanics right i completely agree with you because or else it will look uh, uh silly and you will look like psychotic or something right uh but again yes even just you, if you want to do a, a pantomime the the discussion here the topic is always the same what do you want to show off do you want to show off that you are a great in storytelling telling that you are able to have a great rhythm in your storytelling that you want to do like a very uh beautiful golden pose a really solid the disney style with a very pushing the, the, the nano action uh, you want to show off the personality of your character i should be able to tell who your character is by your posing all right so maybe the timing you want very snappy you want to hold your poses for a while and then boom your character move very quickly maybe does even a gesture with his hands or something or very quickly go from one pose to another uh, and again you're able to show off that you're able to maintain 
a beautiful poses that tell the story moving holds but also be able to have a very snappy timing with a very cool easy in easy out and of course absolutely another important thing if you're doing something like that is that you're able also to tell a bit of a story right because we are doing pantomime shot and you're doing those beautiful poses but your story make no sense or it's so predictable or you've been seeing that kind of story hundreds of time you know people might say okay it's good in animation but his storytelling his idea are not that good or even worse sometimes i feel like they, there is a story that you're doing pantomime shot with a story and there is no ending it actually ends so abruptly you have no idea why almost you feel like okay the animator run out of time he have no idea how to end the story or it maybe cut something because it didn't look good right but then you can say again okay alessandro that's another great advice alessandro thank you so much but you know what i'm gonna do um an upper shot subtle acting because you know you want to focus more just on the facial or lip sync or stuff like that so obviously again i cannot do those golden poses where the character move really snappy because it makes no sense with your animation great great but even in this scenario there is a lot that you can do and you want to show off in your animation let me give you again some example maybe you have some some great dialogue with a lot of intensity on the face or maybe you want to do something really subtle where your your character is holding on a pose could be like like here or whatever there is a voice uh, of camera and your character is just listening and reacting not talking verbally but just with emotion the character could be like you know thinking and i mean uh, every other reaction whatever you guys fancy right but but again it could be all about the eyes all about the mouth the facial and everything and again you do not need uh, a crazy amount of motion but it's only about a subtle acting first of all beautiful facial pose because you should be able to read his emotion and subtle animation that tells what's going on in his mind what the character is thinking how he's reacting to whatever is listening and i can tell you guys if sometimes people feel like oh i'm an animator i should move everything because uh, I feel like if I'm not moving enough controller, I'm kind of cheating, I'm not doing my job. Forget about all this, you know, doing something like this is actually extremely difficult because it, it proves, first of all, that you're good in animator, in animation, in posing, posing the facial and everything, but also you understand what's going on in the facial, in the eyes, how the eyes react and move and the reason why they do like that, but also show that you're really good in understanding the psychology of a character the mind of a character and that's what really makes the difference from a character who's just running around whatever and actually a character who's believable because i can tell what your character is thinking and even though you might think okay it's less animation than a parkour shot it's a lot more challenging in fact i do believe that it's even a lot of animators they're not able to do such a no shot like that even more if the character needs to cry or something like that those are extremely difficult but again if you want to do a shot that it's only upper body subtle acting think about again what you want to showcase right because if you do just an upper body like this and there is a dialogue maybe it's a dialogue shot or whatever and the facial is not that interesting even in your body even if you choose one pose it's not that interesting it doesn't tell me much and it just lip sync even if it's done well Okay, maybe I've done a six second animation and the only thing I can tell, okay, you know how to do lip sync, but I don't feel any emotion from your shot, right? Uh, so again, maybe you're trying to do a character thinking as I just suggest, but you animate so poorly because you're maybe not that good and uh, and it just hurts your, your, your animation because people who are watching is like, okay, I have no idea what this character is thinking. It just looks like he's staying one pose, one facial expression. And it, that, his reaction doesn't match to whatever he's, uh, he's listening, okay? You, you know where I'm going, guys, right? And, and so the reason why you need to be very careful like this, uh, because I can tell you guys, it happens many times, even when some, some of my students, they came to me for the first lesson, they show me their demo that they want to review, and I only see three shots, upper body, right? The character is not moving much. And, and I look at their animation, and again, there is nothing really interesting so what conclusion do i get and i ask this question do you know how to do body mechanics because i can see that you purposely choose uh, three shot where there is only upper body and but it's not really well done i don't see anything interesting in your shot so to me i tell them i think you're choosing this one because you're not able to move the lower body in a believable way and guess what guys uh 95 of the time the answer is like yes i do this because i terribly sucks uh, uh, at body mechanics and stuff like that and and they try to hide it right and i tell them well if i was able to spot this in uh, in uh, in a few seconds i can guarantee you any other recruiter leads 
or, or supervisor is gonna come to the same conclusion like me, okay? You're not fooling anybody. You know why we think like that? Because probably we've been in the same situation when we were young and when we were students, right? I was doing exactly the same when I, when I was not capable of, of doing something good that was scary cropping the camera or whatever, right? And that's why, for example, today when I teach body mechanics, I force my student to do full camera, full body, no cut and everything, right? Because I see people can do those kind of shit. And this is something, again, I was doing when I was young, when I was doing my first body mechanic shot, I was studying by myself. There was a moment, I remember this shot where this character was jumping over the a wall or something and I couldn't figure it out the... the you know the the body mechanics or whatever they didn't look very good so i didn't know what to do I was like you know what i'm gonna do a cut in the middle of the action or remove the the ugly frames and let it go and people when i submitted my demo reel people could tell there was something not feeling right okay because it was obvious that i was trying to cheat um because it didn't look good right so that was the purpose or, or even worse sometimes i even see people with professional like this people do an animation and then they do random camera shake completely unnecessary just to try to hide those mistakes and and when i said i want to see that it's like okay that's great please remove the camera shake and show to me again and uh, and i can see that you know there is all the uh, weight problem and stuff like that so again if if you're doing stuff like this especially as a junior as a student you try to treat those things people are gonna see gonna definitely see through those things and, and they can see that you're not good at what you're trying to do as actually you're just hurting your own chance to, to get a job. You know what I mean? So maybe this is not the solution. The solution is you need to improve your skill and be able to show with confidence your animation. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy this advice as usual, guys. And I want to take this opportunity to tell you Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you guys have a great holiday and great time with you and your family. You take this time to recharge again and then continue to kick ass in animation. See you next time. Ciao, guys.